guys and welcome to Igor's Play Workshop. Today we are going to be tying a fly called Black Spider and we are actually doing it on a double hook, anonymous double hook, I have no idea of the brand but we cannot use Arx for this one uh, simply because Arx do not uh, produce double, hook, double hooks unless just for salmon. So this will be an anonymous, I think it may be a Camazon or some, something I have. Uh, but for the body of the black spider we are going to be using uh, Vanyard Pico Coro. And we are taking five, six, four, five, six strands of the very best uh, hurl there is in the, in the chunk. We keep the uh, length at least enough to make the body. And we snip off the front of it, like snip off the end, and then we attach it and wrap it with our thread and uh, tie it down securely. We'll lock it in like this and get the uh, get the uh, thread forward towards to the head of the fly. This is a really really simple pattern, a really easy tight pattern, old one. I if I recall, it's uh, an English pattern originally, or from the United Kingdom, and called Black Spider. Fist. It's not a dry fly, and some some prefer prefer to tie this with a soft tackle. It just depends. I think soft tackle might might be with a hand or something might be better than uh, a cock, but anyway. The thread we are using, that's a nano silk, uh, Semperfly nano silk 50 denier. And uh, for the color of the fly, or the hackle, we are going to be using a black uh, rooster or black cock feather for it. So we have to kind of find out the current length of the fibers that fits about this size of a hook. I know some anglers love to have the the hackles a little bit longer than like abnormally long. Sometimes that works as well. Yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe. But we yeah secure the uh, feather stem in like so with few tight wraps. Uh, take the rest of it out and snip that off and then comes the uh, fun part uh, we'll have to use a hackle plier for this just in, uh, as a safety thing uh, and then we wrap it around like so and we wrap it forwards to the towards to the eye of the hook but uh, the shinier side shinier side of the feathers you'll, you'll always face like the same way like to the eye of the hook not backwards so then you kind of get like a natural bend like the natural correct bend on the hackle itself uh, this as a hackle is actually enough you, there is no reason to overdress the hackles on the spider flies not at all so we're going to get it's like two or three wraps maximum you need you don't need more then you're going to uh, we lock this in and secure it down with our thread and snip off the excess in material. And then comes the fun part. Not so fun if you're tying on a treble hook. You'll sting your fingers so easily when you do this, but you have to grab all of the fibers, as you see. Grab them and try to catch them with your finger. So they're all facing backwards. This way you can tie in the head and get the uh, fibers to lean backwards so it's like more naturally than uh, rather than they are just sticking out anywhere or just like a collar or a hackle on, a, on a, like a dry fly then we will do a whip finishing job two whip finishes and then we'll apply the uh, apply the uh, 
with solar respawn cure on it. Just to finish off the hat of the fly. I have used this fly in Iceland for many years, over 30 years, and usually with really good results, especially during the springtime. And uh, I use it mostly while I'm fishing in still water, not running water. And this has given me both uh, Arctic char, but most mostly it has been the brown trout here that has been fond of this pattern. You see this yeah, material, the uh, solar respawn cure is an excellent, excellent material. I like it a lot and use it a lot. The rest is just, yeah, sap it with our UV torch and we are good to go. I just want to say to you guys, uh, thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, I just say take care guys and I will see you in the next one.